We got ourselves a new update guys, so that's good. So uh, in this video I'm going to cover uh, a little bit of the new stuff. So if you want to see how it goes and what I'm doing with the new stuff, then watch after the intro. Be right back. So the first thing I noticed with the new update is that we have some new furniture and stuff like that. And some new decoration pieces as well. So in this video I'm going to combine it a little bit because I need to go down to the cathedral again. Just gonna dump off some of the stuff here. Yeah, just gonna dump off some of the building stones to begin with. Just put them in this chest so it's easy accessible accessible but yeah the thing is that i can make tombstones or coffins so gonna check out this because that's gonna look really nice down in the cathedral because as you remember if you have seen the episodes i uh, saved some space and i asked you what should we put there but now we actually have some stuff we can put there so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make everything and I'm gonna see how it looks. And if I want to build more of some of them than others, I can come back. Here I also have some uh, some oases. And these oases actually kind of look like the thing that you have the ash in, you know? So what I can do, let's make, let's make 10 of each just to have some. And then I also saw that we have a new shelf here. Here is the new uh, fossil showcase as well. That's gonna be nice though. I don't actually know where to have that yet. I think this kind of gonna be nice to have in the area where I have the, the ranger or what she's called, hunter or ranger or whatever. Because this is kind of her, her stuff. So that's gonna be in her area, I think. But for the blacksmith, we now have this mannequin and weapon showcase and yeah, weapon and armor and stuff like that going to be at the blacksmith's place together with these mannequins as well. So I'm going to going to play around with that later on. Going to wait with this until I start my next project which going to be the hunter or ranger or what is she is called. But now I'm gonna make these. There are different variants as well. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go down and see how they look. Yeah, and there was something else as well. Yeah. We got a new kind of shelf as well. This one. Yeah, and of course they don't stack, so that's a little bit. That's a shame, but let's go down and play a little bit with this new stuff here. Another thing that is new in this update is that you now can uh, choose the difficulty settings and uh, customize and everything. How many mobs you want, how easy they're gonna be, how much health you're going to have, etc. So when I play, I like um, I like building and stuff though, so I went for relaxed difficulty, just the easiest. And if I, if I think it's gonna be boring in, in length or need to farm some more resources and kill some mobs, I can just go to, to custom and then uh, customize it. 
So as you can see here, you have um, everything, boss damage and everything. And you can also customize everything yourself. Mining damage. I just want, uh, I just went with a relaxed one. I don't want it to be too easy. It's not fun making something if it's too easy and uh, yeah. Yeah, the question is here I want some... Uh, maybe I should do this when we get signs. Maybe I should uh, dedicate uh, some of those to to you guys. We will see. I think I will use the cathedral for, for having the nameplates on the walls and everything. And I can also have um, these crypts with names on them. So the question now is which ones do I go for? I'm gonna have these large ones up, uh, as close to the altar as I can. And then they're gonna be these. How does these look? These are a little bit smaller. Those are gonna be in the end here. We have some standing ones as well. You can have those by the wall. Maybe we should have them here. It's hard to hit perfectly though. What is that sound? Is, that, is it a cow? No, I don't want them there. You can have them uh, on the walls somehow. I think we have cows somewhere. This one is kind of ready to put someone in though. Can I fit something inside of it? No. How does this look? So gonna go for this this tree that I have here then. This one was a little bit cool though. Oh. Maybe I should have one here and one on the other side. I wish I could put this standing up. Instead though, then I could use them as kind of wall decorations. That seems not possible. What do you want? Come here. Magical artifacts. Hollow holes artifacts. Maybe that's something that I can put in this uh, showcase stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna do questing another day. Yeah, let's go up and build some more stuff though. Where should I have these then? Maybe I should place someone here. I don't know where. No, I can wait with that. I can wait with those. So here is the big ones. Yeah, let's go up and make some more then. That was something that I learned while playing Satisfactory, is that you always, uh, ooh, Hollow Holes Showcase, that's cool. But there was a Hollow Holes Showcase, nice. We need to do that one day as well, but yeah. What was her name again? The Hunter. So the Hunter is gonna go have this, um, she's gonna have all the showcases, I think. So yeah, I was going, I need one of those. And now I didn't count how many I needed though. I'm gonna make five of each to start with and then I go down and I grab some more if I need that. I probably do though, because I don't have many. But yeah, what was, what I was going to say is that uh, when I played Satisfactory, I learned that I um, always will need some more space. So uh, I kind of adopt that here as well. When I build a cathedral, I build it a lot larger because there are still coming updates and there will always be some more things to place out, you know? So let's see here. Question is how close should I put them? Here I want it to be open because I have elf there.
Maybe I move them a little bit later or do it a little bit differently. But for now, for now it's good enough. I need at least one, two more of those. Two more of those. And I want this one over here. The reason why I have so many crypt coffins and stuff is that uh, I am going to have a lot of subscribers, you know, so then I need a lot of stuff to add signs on. I was a little bit disappointed that I didn't get any signs for this one, but then it might be next time then. Just gonna drop this down here. I can add it later on. I can place that later on. Yeah, and now I need to collect all the weapons and stuff as well though that's gonna be later as well let's see i want two more of those and two more of those okay. might uh, change the placement of them and stuff like that later on as well but we will see we will see but now i have used all the space at least just imagine if I can have some nameplates on them. Maybe we get some statues after some time as well, and I can have statues on top of them or beside or anything. But yeah. Anyways, let's go up and um, let's go up and check out some of these new item stands. What I'm gonna do as well, I'm gonna finish up a little bit at my blacksmith area as well. Because I've actually been thinking about something and that is that I want to cover up everything with sand because it's warm in there so that's gonna be my sandy little area and for that I will need some plants Yucca bombs Because these are thriving in the sand, you know I don't know if I can plant in the sand, but we've, we will figure it out And we can have some of these Hello seedlings Do I want other plants in the desert? No, I don't think so. I think that's good Yeah, so gonna do that first, just finish up a little bit. Number six. Like that. It actually looks pretty cool though. I like that look. This is the main blacksmith area. What I need to do is to figure out where I should have the armor stands and so on. I think I'm gonna have make something on the sides here somewhere. But yeah. Question now, is it possible to plant here? It is. That's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a problem if I plant too much though. Anyways, I can cut them down later on if it's gonna be too much. This as well. I want them to kind of be a little bit random.
cool. So now I have some plants here as well. Maybe have some more. Maybe have some more. Wow, wow, it's very nice. As I said, I can just remove them if it's gonna be too much. But yeah, the question is where should I have all the uh, armor stands, etc. Maybe I should have kind of a second floor. I could make this a little bit wider though, and I can have them kind of e on each side walking in here. And how many armors and stuff is there? Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of, um, uh, I'm gonna need a lot of paddings then. She has some armor sets as well. If I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna focus on, on the best armors, level 23 ones. That's gonna be the goal. Yeah, an alchemist as well, couldn't he make some, he could make some armors as well. Yeah, so three. And everyone needs padding. So that means that before I'm gonna make all the different armors, I need to expand the area for the hunter. Because I need a solid production of padding. You can actually make a lot though. I haven't been farming all these different uh, weapons and stuff like that though. We have one set here, I think. Radiant, Radiant Boots. So I have the Paladin set though. Ice Blade. Question is, should I have the staffs over there or should that be at the Alchemist's place? I think the alchemist is gonna be uh, the mage in his tower, you know, so I think the the stuffs and magic items and stuff should be there. Wands and stuff like that. Blacksmith should have all the, um, the fighting stuff. Yeah, so let's go with that. I think that's a good idea. Is it possible to display this as well? Maybe I should try it. Let's see here then. Question is how does it look? It looks cool like that as well though. Open. So what if I what if I pick these? Can I put those there? Hmm. So I need to equip it myself then and then put it there or That's cool, so you can actually use them and you can make citizens around your base as well. Though. That's cool. You could just stand there for a while. But yeah, I need one for these. And I think I want the boring mannequin. Sword and shield rack. To make that mannequin. Yeah, so from now on I'm gonna collect all the weapons that I find, I think. We need one for the bow as well. Bow weapon rack. Bow and then I have sword and shield. And I have two-handed. That's gonna be enough for showcasing some at least. Maybe I should have some down here. Where did I got the other one from? Strange.
Probably need to figure out this a little bit later how I should do it. First, I need a lot of more gear before I can make something uh, out of it. So yeah, we got some cool stuff. Didn't got any signs. I did do a little bit here. So that's gonna be enough for this one. I need to figure out what I should do in the next one. I think I would probably go on a little adventure because I got some new quests. Quests, and yeah. I need to find the fossils. The same with the hollow holes artifacts. I think uh, I might do that in the next uh, one. We will see what I do. Uh, and yeah, we need to start some serious production of the armors and everything because I want everything to be in show on a showcase, you know. So I need to expand the hunters area for some serious productions of padding. So it's gonna be in an episode. Not sure when I'm gonna do that, but yeah. So after the new update, we got some more stuff to do. So if you want to see how it goes, see you in the next one. Bye bye.